Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Karen. I get quite often asked this question that is how to express only in Chinese. Well, if you think about it, I'm sure you can think of one character that is zhi. However, sometimes under some cases, you cannot use zhi. Instead, you need to use zhi you. Well, today's video is dedicated to how to tell the difference between these two. Let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about zhi. Zhi is an adverb, meaning only in Chinese. And usually the structure is like this, zhi and then a verb. For example, 我只买了一本书. 我只买了一本书. I only bought one book. 我只喜欢看电影. 我只喜欢看电影. I only like to watch movies. 现在我只想睡觉。现在我只想睡觉。Now I only want to go to sleep. 明天我只要上一节课。明天我只要上一节课。Tomorrow I only will have one lesson. Our last example. 我只有一支笔。我只有一支笔 I only have one pen So as you can see here, the structure is often 只 plus a verb, meaning only something It's almost the same usage as in English But pay attention to this sentence, which is our last example 有 here is acting as a verb, meaning to have So 只 and 有 are separated instead of being together well, in the next part, let's take a look at 只有 as together. How can you use 只有 as a word itself? Do you remember when we want to use 只 to express only, we have to have a verb adding behind it? Well, when you use 只有, first of all, most of the time, it appears in front of nouns. So the pattern would be 只有 plus a noun, meaning there is or there are only or only. For example, 今天只有三个人来上课。今天只有三个人来上课。So today there are only three people who come to the class. 只有这幅画好看，其他的都不好看。只有这幅画好看，其他的都不好看。So only this painting is good. The others are not. So 只有 and then nouns. Another specific pattern to use 只有 is somebody plus 只有 plus an adjective. So this adjective, pay attention, is usually numbers to express someone's weight, height, or age. Let's take a look at some examples. 这个小孩只有一岁。这个小孩只有一岁。so this baby is only one year old. 他只有一米四。他只有一米四。He is only 1.4 meters tall. 我的朋友两米。可是他只有65公斤。我的朋友两米。可是他只有65公斤。my friend is 2 meters tall, but he only weighs 65 kilograms. Lastly, to use 只有 is usually in conjunction with 才, so 只有 something something, 才 something something. And here 只有 means only if. For example, 只有努力学习才能通过考试。只有努力学习才能通过考试 so Only if you study hard can you pass the exam 只有多吃饭才能长高, 只有多吃饭才能长高. Only if you eat a lot can you grow taller Well, that may not be true, but So do you guys get the difference between 只 and 只有? Next time when you struggle to find a word when you want to express only in Chinese, try to think about which structure is going to be used in your sentence and then choose the correct word for it. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like it. And I'm Karen. See you guys next time. Bye.